Recent developments have made spherical video or 360 video more popular than ever. Hey everybody, Marcus here and today we're going to show you how to produce a spherical video using a GoPro Omni and a Dell Precision workstation powered by dual Intel Xeon processors. First we need to capture some footage. In our example, we'll be using a GoPro Omni and the footage we recorded from a tour of a local historical landmark. The full 360 video is available on Dell's website. When you turn on the Omni, if all is working properly, you should see the screen say Array Ready, which means you're good to go. Once you hit record, create a slate by clapping loudly or quickly spinning the rig which will allow the software to synchronize the cameras in post. Once you've ingested your footage, it's time to stitch the camera angles together. When working with numerous cameras and especially ultra high definition video, it makes a huge difference having a computer with enough processing power. For our purpose, we'll be working on a Dell Precision workstation featuring dual Intel Xeon processor E5 2699V4s with 64 gigabytes of RAM and an extremely robust GPU. The stitching software we'll be using is called AutoPano Video. Let's open up the program. First, drag in all the clips for the first take. Then, we need to sync all our video sources. Click on the Sync tab and choose to sync using either audio or motion, then click Apply. Next, go to the Stitch tab. Choose the GoPro option and click Stitch. Now to tweak your image a little. Keep your eye on the horizon and pull your video down or up until the horizon is level. Again, the performance of this Dell Precision Workstation and Intel Xeon processors is what makes it possible to edit such vast amounts of data, and it especially helps with our next step, exporting. Our video is looking good, so now it's time to render. Click the Render tab and choose your desired settings. We're choosing to output as an MP4 and using the H.264 auto preset. Once your video is rendered, we need to add some metadata back into the file for 360 playback to be enabled. In Premiere Pro, render the file out one last time and make sure to check the Video is VR checkbox, which will add the metadata for 360 playback. And now, your file is ready to upload. Making a 360 degree video can be a lot of fun, but you will need a workstation with some serious processing power. With more affordable camera options and easier to use stitching software than ever before, when will you begin to make 360 videos?